and welcome to today's construction class. My name is Uluwa Tundi Blessing or Lalikon, the founder of Michael Tech. All right, today we'll be considering this problem uh, on tangency while using AutoCAD. All right, so and to produce this particular object, yeah, let me just keep this in you must have actually have the uh, knowledge of how to do uh, tangency on paper using pencil and paper. So if you have the idea of that, then it is actually going to be easier for you to implement that using AutoCAD. All right. So to consider this problem on the screen, the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick my line, produce a uh, horizontal line of any dimension in that order. Okay. After doing that, I'm going to pick a line, just locate the midpoint right here, then drag this somewhere up here at any length. Okay. Vertically. All right. Enter. So after doing that, uh, virtually I produced it over there. So just to replicate it. So, okay. So uh, the very next thing I'm actually going to do right here. Okay, the next thing I'm actually going to do right here is to uh, pick my offset command with my offset command at a distance of uh, 12 mm. Enter. I'm going to pick this horizontal line at the bottom, offset it like that. So with that same offset command, clicking on this line but at a distance of uh that's going to be distance of 25 now enter okay after doing that i'm going to pick my line picking my line sitting at this junction right here okay at an angle of 60 degree here because we are having angle 30 degree to the vertical axis that's going to be 60 to the horizontal plane so i what i press enter i'm having that right there so and i'm going to pick that same line towards this other axis so i'm having first of all angle 15 degree so that's going to be one of oh sorry with my tab key okay so let's say sorry escape yeah so with my tab key i'm having one of five degrees enter then uh, i'm going to replicate that same line on this axis so 30 degrees to the vertical plane that's going to be what 120 degrees so with my tab key I'm inputting 120 degrees right there. I have the other line right there. So having these lines in place, having these lines in place. So the very next thing uh, I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually come here and pick my circle diameter. Okay, at this particular intersection right here. So I'm drawing a circle of diameter 50. Enter. You see that? So I'm going to uh, replicate the same circle on this axis diameter 50 or radius 25. Your choice. So I'm having the two circles right there. And on their inside, we are having a circle of diameter 22 on the inside. So right here, circle of diameter 22 or radius 11, which is more or less the same, your choice, okay? So having the two circles on the inside now, the next step is this. The next step is this. You just need to calm down. You need to calm down and relax, all right? So I'm going to actually come here. I'm going to pick my center start end. So picking that, I'm going to sit right at this junction. Okay, now I'm having a mark of uh, 95, radius 95. So I'm going to come here and type 95, enter. Then what, I'm going to drag it over like this. So let me just end it somewhere here. I'm ending that somewhere there. You see that? So that's quite okay for me. That's quite okay for me. Then I'm going to pick my circle with diameter sitting here the intersect right here i'm drawing first a circle of diameter 25 enter then on the inside a circle of diameter 12 or radius 6 your choice okay now after doing that i'm going to actually uh, pick my line from the midpoint right here i'm going to project a straight line a straight original line across like this enter so i'm going to replicate this same line here yeah look at the information it says we have three bosses so we are repl replicating that particular circle in three places so diameter 25 on the outside and diameter 12 which is radius 6 on the what on the inside so and the third mark is going to be right here so i can actually mirror that so let me just pick okay if i actually mirror that let me save time let me save time so save time in one sense so this is what i'm going to do towards this axis we are having uh a radius an arc of radius 32. so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come right here pick my tan tan radius command so picking tan tan radius i click here here then i impute what 32 enter 
so i have that over there so having that over there i can trim this area which i don't want off do you see that then what enter so as I have that now i can actually mirror all of this to the other side because i need to replicate it at the other side so highlighting my object clicking the mirror command then i'm going to click somewhere here on that straight line i have it there then i'm going to click on no so with that i have my object here so i can trim off this x axis here okay so which means i'm having an axis on this axis so i'm going to trim it off also so we are getting there right we are getting there so with my escape key now okay let me finish it uh towards the clicking my tan tan radius command also i'm going to click somewhere here and somewhere here with radius what radius 35 enter i am having that right there so with my trim i trim this off right here i trim this off right here enter i click on this then i what i delete it okay so uh towards with my time time radius i'm clicking right here and right here and that's radius what radius 25 that's the radius of our arc right there so with my trim command i trim this i trim this enter then clicking on this i what i press delete okay now uh sorting that uh sorry one minute one minute okay yeah sorry for the break in transmission all right so having that right there, I'm going to pick my tan tan radius also. I'm going to click this area and uh, this area, obviously. I'm having radius of what? Radius of 32, enter also. So with my trim command, I trim this area here. I trim this area here, enter. I click on this, then I what? I delete. All right, so having done that, so we are almost there, we are almost there. So. I'm going to actually uh, pick this command center start and end okay I'm going to sit right at this junction here coming to this axis here I'm going to type 128 radius 128 enter so pressing my control key I would I move towards this axis like this so I'm having this arc in this order okay having that arc in that order I'm going to pick my circle diameter the outside circle is diameter 32 at this intersection here diameter 32 enter and on the inside i'm having diameter 16 or radius 8 your choice enter that is settled right there so then coming in i pick my what tan tan radius tan tan radius that's going to be uh this area here towards this area here radius of 22 enter so I'm going to click my trim command i am trimming this area of i'm trimming this area of then i'm going to what i'm going to delete this i don't need it any longer so we are almost there yeah we are almost there okay so now the next thing for me is to click my center start end right here also from the junction here okay so i'm going to come all the way here tangential to this area then what extend this arc up to somewhere here like this do you see what i did there just now so take note of that so after doing that i'm going to uh, pick my uh tan tan radius also so i'm going to click uh this area and probably this area and the radius there is what 32 enter so i am having that right there then with my trim command i what i trim this i trim this i trim this okay i trim this then i trim the whole of this so and i have my object right there clean like my clean cheap like plantain chips okay i can actually increase the uh thickness level of this just to make it you know slightly different from the rest so doing that i can actually match the properties with match properties i click this i replicate it here 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 here, here. here. right here 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 yeah and i think that's basically all so i'm going to trim this area off we don't need this neither do we need this and this i'm going to trim this area slightly 
and this area slightly enter using my match properties from here what to this area then what enter then i'm going to use my extend command i'm extending this line right here and this also right there so yeah just to you know i'm going to match these areas for yeah this you know just to make it slightly different or whatever like that okay i think that has been done then i'm going to use my center mark for this this i think i think that's all okay then i can now extend this like this like this like this like this like this like this and like this so i can take this off holy father see me what am i doing see i can take this off yeah so that's it okay and that is the uh solution to the problem as displayed on the screen right here so take note of this if i am kind of too fast don't be afraid all you have to do is just adjust the video settings on your youtube just click the three dotted vertical line at the top of your screen then go to video settings then check play speed adjust this to uh the preference that actually suits you all right so that is just it so once again my name is olua tumbi blessing or la Lekon, the founder of michael tech kindly ensure you subscribe to this youtube channel and also refer to your friends who might be in need of it thank you